Have you heard of Lee Fang? Lee Fang. He's a uh, liberal provocateur, provocateur? Yeah. at uh, something called The Intercept. Big lip, big lip. But apparently he wasn't liberal enough because he actually quoted a guy uh, from Oakland, California, whose two cousins were murdered by black people. I mean, this is a black guy, by the way. Who says his, uh, his aunt, the mother of those two boys who were murdered, uh, is still suffering. And the black guy says, do black lives matter when it's a black guy who kills the black people? Lee Fang quoted that guy in an article he did for The Intercept. Lee Fang was basically taken before a Stalinist mob accused of racism and had to grovel to keep his job. <laughs> it's funny in a way, but it's, it's a scary, scary thing in a way, too. So to quote a black guy who has two cousins murdered by black people, whose aunt, the mother of those two uh, cousins who are black, <laughs> who is still suffering from the loss of her boys, uh, makes you a racist even though you have the most impeccable liberal credentials in the world. In fact, it's funny, I looked up Lee Fang, his bio, and uh, he's, yet, look, he's just a young kid, man. He's 33 years old. I'm sure he's never shoveled a ditch in his life. Uh, I guarantee he's got the softest hands ever. Is Fang a Chinese name? I think it might be, actually. And I'm sure his parents came over here, emigrated from Taiwan or China, and uh, had nothing on their back, and they did everything they could to give Lee uh, just the, <laughs> the advantages of America that is offered there for people who stay together and work hard. But the interesting thing is just funny because Lee Fang says, birthplace, Prince George's County, Maryland. <laughs> look, look, man, I know exactly what's going on here. PG County for the long, it used to be in the 60s, PG County was like a segregated county, man. I mean, it was, it was literally like white rednecks there. Uh, PG County is not that anymore. PG County, I think, is the most affluent uh, black, primary black county in the world or something like that. Uh, PG County, even when I was growing up in the 80s, was pretty urban, uh, rather violent uh, for, for sure. Um, and so, so it's interesting. And then when the gentrification happened in D.C., more of the middle and lower income blacks moved to PG County because they couldn't afford like Southeast, uh, South Capitol Street and whatnot. So they, had, uh, they were gentrified out which you know, I've heard that many a time, haven't we? Um, anyway, so PG County is notorious now for basically being a black county. But there's PG County isn't a hometown. That's like me saying, uh, what's my hometown, Cumberland County, Maine? That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. Why is Lee Fang saying PG County is his hometown? Because he thinks it gives him street cred with the liberals say, look, I grew up in a predominantly black place. But like every place in Northwest D.C., I mean, you, there's always wealthy, hell, the Bronx, where, what's her name's from, AOC, from a wealthy part of the Bronx. But she gets to say she's from the Bronx, man. But you know, everyone thinks, well, you're from the Bronx, you're down. Well, there's wealthy parts of the Bronx, too. In fact, a long time ago, I used to do a record label, and I had a band that I, I we don't, I hate to even say sign, but I did a CD for them. And uh, the singer, who was actually a nice guy, I liked his lyrics quite a bit, he wasn't a very good singer, but he, he was a good guy. But he, he would say he was from the Bronx as if he's like, you know, down. And I and I'd always kind of chuckled at that. So there is no white kid from the Bronx in that, uh, the way he's trying to make it seem. Similar to Lee, Flat, Lee Fang, he's not from PG County the way you would think. Uh, you see what I'm saying? He's not from Langley Park. Uh, come here, buddy. Uh, let's just put it that way. So anyway, I, I, I found it ironic that Lee Fang... Uh, the groveler now, so he had to grovel before the mob, the Stalinists, the Maoists, and say, I apologize for my transgressions, I apologize, erase it from history. His claim is that he's from PG County. And I did a cursory, sit, just real quick, um, look, said, where did Lee Fang go to high school? And uh, I, <laughs> um, I couldn't, I didn't look that hard, but I couldn't find it, which is kind of ironic too, because I guarantee he didn't go to Northwestern. He didn't go to one of these uh, public schools in PG County. I guarantee he probably went to like Good Council or something like that. Um, I guarantee it, or maybe DeMatha, one of those rich schools. 
gear and flipping teeth. So basically what happens is we got a kid, um, you know, wealthy kid, spoiled kid, uh, who's, who's making his way in liberal circles by saying, hey, I'm from PG County, Maryland, man. You know what I'm saying? But he's hiding the fact that I guarantee he's from the wealthy area for sure. But it doesn't matter. It still doesn't matter. Why? Because he still has to grovel. Come on, bud. Let's go over here. He's still got to grovel. <laughs> He's got to say <laughs> that he should have never quit. He didn't even say He did not say this. He just quoted a black guy who said, did black lives matter if a black guy is a perp? Lee didn't say that. This other guy said that. <laughs> I mean, how insane is that, man? And yet, some lady says, I'm sick of, who works with him, says, I'm sick of Lee's racism. <laughs> I just, you can't win with these people. And of course, Lee, instead of saying, <laughs> instead of standing up, because he doesn't know how. He doesn't know how to defend himself. Now, he's not white, so he can go along with the POC thing, which is another reason why the POC thing is so infuriating, that anyone who's not white can automatically say, I'm a victim, I'm a victim too. <laughs> it's silly. But this is what we're looking at, this millennial generation. Not all of them, I get it, but a good amount. They've never freaking, uh, there's a band, there's this band called the Tossers. I never worked a shovel in my entire life. What's the song? I can't remember the song, but as he talks about it, he goes, he basically has never done any hard work in his entire life. I've never, I can't, oh man, I can't draw a blank what that song's called. But it's awesome. It's, uh, I've never left a shovel in my entire life. Uh, that's a work of, where's the work? I, 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 I can't remember, but it's a great song. I, I, every time I hear these millennial journalists, I think of that song by the Tossers, because I just chuckle that they, they've never <laughs> done anything of worthwhile other than, uh, look, they graduated college. Wow. Ooh. You know, they've had everything given to them. Is that... Uh, do I know that for a fact? No, I don't know that for a fact. Am I pretty convinced? Uh, as my, that's my prejudice to going in. I can almost assure you, Lee Fang uh, was wealthy in P. There are wealthy parts of PG County. All right, I guarantee he did not go to a either a PG County typical public school like you would have, like he would have you believe. But he went to a a private school. All right, and then he gets to say. I'm from PG County, man, the most populated black county in the world, so I can speak on the issues that are important to liberals. Yeah, it's all fake, all fake. But anyway, it doesn't, you know, when the bullshit, when the smile has come, you will grovel. And if you don't grovel enough, you will be decapitated. We've seen this a million times a Sunday in human history, and we're seeing it now too. And so, uh, so Lee grovels, and, uh, and now he'll never utter an honest word again. Not that he ever did before, but he never will. Sad, man. But, hey, that's the monster you created. All right, we'll see you.